Hi Aries, I'm an energy worker. I'm here today with a 10 day forecast for the sign of Aries. So anyone who has Aries strongly in their chart, this, this reading could resonate with you. All right, all right Aries, let's get started on your reading and see what kind of um, message we have here for this group of Aries. And I'm asking this week for a message for the group of Aries that needs the message the most, all right? So the group of Aries that needs the message the most, I'm asking for a reading for this group of Aries, all right? Who needs the message the most. All right, 10 day forecast for, for Aries, 10 day forecast for Aries. There you are, boom. Doesn't take you long, Aries, does it? Knight of Rods and the King of Rods. All right, let us let me get the rest of this spread out and then um, we will look to see what the story is. There's a lot of masculine energy here. This tells me, Aries, that in the next 10 days, you will be taking action, right? You will be in the process of doing rather than thinking, rather than contemplating. You will be doing, you will be creating, you will be whatever you're doing, you're restructuring, whatever it is that you're doing. Um, there is new here, there is action, there's implementation. Um, there are steps being taken. This is masculine energy. Even though you are, um, many of you are feminine energies, you will be in a masculine form in the next 10 days. That means that you will have a, a certain tenacity. You will have a certain way of talking, a way of walking um, that will require extra strength, if, especially if you're a female or if you're a feminine energy. This will require extra strength from you, but I see that you're super passionate about this, and so it will come naturally to you, Aries. It's nothing that you're really going to have to work for, but it is something you're going to worry about, okay? It's nothing you're going to have to really work for, but it is something you will worry about. Because here's the situation. You, and there are so many masculine energies here. You could be a woman working within a group of men, or you could be, um, you could, this could be a story of a group of men, okay? Because there are so many masculine energies. There's not one feminine energy here. There's not one, except for the Eight of Swords. But that's just the pick, I mean, that's not a court card. That's not, wow, I have just not seen this very much. There is a new, there is a new opportunity here, Aries. It is a new opportunity. We have the fool next to the ace of wands. Okay, there's a new opportunity that's coming towards you. It could have been a long time. It could have taken a long time coming. All right, it could be. But it is a stable, long-term offer. All right, it is an amazing offer that's coming towards you. Amazing. Should you take this offer? Should you take this opportunity? Absolutely, you should. And I see that you do. I see that you do. Right, you are passionately moving forward here with the with the with the King of Wands. Right, this is Sagittarius energy, Leo Aries Sagittarius energy. We have Taurus energy, we have um, Gemini energy here, we have Aries energy, and we have Scorpio Pisces or Cancer energy. Right, those are the energies I see here. I don't see. I see one Earth energy. And as far as air energy goes, I see only the intellectual qualities of air, worry, entrapment of thought. I don't really see any air people. That doesn't mean that there's no air people or that there's hardly any or that there's no earth people. I'm just saying that the qualities here are passion and emotion, mostly passion. All right. So this is just perfect for Aries, perfect for Aries.
You could be moving out of a situation, Aries, that you were in for some time that left you um, feeling a little bit weak and, and helpless in a way. There's something that maybe there was a restriction in, in how in, there could have been a restriction in your abundance. So you could have been in a position that didn't really have any further, um, any, any further, um, you could have been in a, in a, in a place at work or in a position that did not allow for any kind of improvement or any kind of advancement in any way. Okay. Something like that. You could have been in a situation where you were not in power or you were not in control of your own self. Okay. So this is really overcoming um, a period of time where you felt um, you could have even been taken advantage of. You could have been kept in, in, in information could have been kept from you. Um, freedom could have been kept from you um, for some reason, or this could be a, could have been a way of thought that you had a pattern of thinking that you were in. Uh, but it looks like you're really overcoming that and, and really um, starting to um, bring in um, through your own efforts and through your own imagination, through your own, perception in your own belief system, bringing in new and beautiful opportunities for yourself, taking, moving out of the eight of swords, moving out of feeling weak and, and trapped and moving into a very, um, uh, a forward thinking, abundant minded, um, way of, of stepping forward. So this is changing. This is moving from lack perspective to abundant perspective. And that is easier said than done. My friends, that is much easier said than done. All right. So this is, um, taking over command of your environment, taking over command of, of the, the situation around you and putting yourself in a, in a path or in a partnership or in some kind of, of a group of people that will help build. It will help build everyone. It will help build you. It brings in abundance. It brings in passion. It brings in success, right? So moving from feeling alone, feeling weak, feeling helpless, and then moving into a very empowered, um, a way of stepping forward. And that is a real victory here, Aries. That is a real victory here. This is creating an environment for yourself that's holistic, that is powerful, and that is um, uh, creating um, an ease as you move into the future, as you move into future um, successes, future experiences, and future um, completion of your continued goals and dreams, if that makes any sense. So it looks like there is a decision here to be made in the next 10 days or so. And I feel like the decision is going to be in the next 10 days. Either you have already made the decision or you will be making the decision. This will take the need for you to be in clear alignment, to be balanced, to be making sure that you are in a state of connecting into your own um, source energy, whatever that is for you, what, whether it's a religious structure, whether it's a spiritual belief, whether it's meditation, whether it's some kind of, you know, um, uh, energy work or, or exercise that involves, uh, that involves, um, it could be yoga or anything like that that involves finding your own sense of balance, right? And and so this is going to demand for you to be very balanced, to be very harmonious in the decision that you make, um, whether you go with this new journey or you stay where you are. I feel like you're going to decide to go with the new with the new path, and you're definitely are writing out into the future here, knowing that you're taking a risk, but knowing really that you're actually taking more of a risk staying where you are because it's not healthy to be in the eight of swords. It's not healthy to feel trapped. It's not healthy to feel weak. It's not healthy to be in a, in a pattern of thinking that's not abundant, right? And you know that, you know that the situation you're in is not conducive for success. And so you're moving out and you're taking a risk here. Um, you're, you're deciding to do something new that you've never done before, but you can see the abundance here and you can see the long-term success here and, and the security that it would offer. And so while uh, this is something that worries you because you've never done it before, while this is something that um, you may have to really um, stand up for yourself and self-advocate for yourself, there could be some kind of um, clearance that you go through as an interviewer or an interviewee. Um, something that you do here where you have to really advocate for yourself and you're maybe worried about doing that. Maybe you're in like the top three um potential hires or something where you're having to really advocate for yourself. But this really comes down to having the belief, 
having the the perspective within you that truly um, this 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 avenue this opportunity is perfect for you. You have the skills, you have the interests, you have the passion, you have the abilities that you need to be successful here. And I think that you will be having to do some kind of um, marketing of yourself or or um, self advocacy here for for this new opportunity. Um, but but it's the belief that will get you through. It's 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 the it's the understanding of of why you're doing this that, that will get you through. Um, it, it is it is truly in, in a way connected to a very spiritual part of yourself or a very religious part of yourself. This work, this new opportunity, it's something within you. It will fulfill something within you uh, that is calling out. Uh, for some kind of fulfillment. There's something here missing um, with the Hierophant card. There's something here that you'd like to connect to that will bring you emotional fulfillment. And this opportunity is that thing. That's how I'm feeling here. All right, so we have Sagittarius. And did I already do this? We have Sagittarius energy. We have Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. We have the Taurus energy. I think I might have already done this. We have Gemini energy, Aries, and Scorpio, Pisces, Pisces Cancer. This is really about feeling the dissatisfaction in life and take, making changes um, to that experience so that you can alter um, the course and, and really connect into um, an experience that's more fulfilling for you. So this is making the, making the choice and, and recognizing that, that unhappiness, recognizing the discontentment and the un, unsatisfactory um, state of being, and then really looking at, at how to engage in new different realities and connecting in with a new opportunity here. And that's beautiful and powerful. And I'd love to see that. I'd love to see that Aries. I really do. Let's look at let's look. Why is the Ace of Rods here? Please tell us more about this new opportunity. Please tell us more about this new passionate opportunity that's coming in, Spirit. Please tell us more about this new passionate opportunity that's coming in. Tell us more about this new passion. It's coming in quickly, the Knight of Swords. So it could come in very quickly. It could be kind of a surprise. Somehow someone's going to have a kind of a surprised or shocked response. Um, it could be very truthful how it comes in, but I think it's a speed in which it comes in. And we see confirmation of that appear with the Knight of Wands too. It comes in very quickly. You could be moving. You could be moving very quickly. Aries, you could be moving very quickly. But whatever this is, this is a fast approaching option or a solution to solve a situation that you've been in for a very long time with the Ten of Swords. So very quickly, there is a solution here that comes forward, and I think it could surprise you. It could very well surprise you or, or somehow um, create some very quick change. I always feel like the Knight of Swords can be like a tiny tower. Sometimes that energy that the Knight of Swords can bring. And then we have the King of Swords, right? This is having clarity, um, it, having clarity over bring over what brings in fulfillment for you, having clarity on how to finish out this old cycle, having clarity about um, how how you should connect with this new, you know, it's having clarity on not only why you're moving forward, but how you're going to move forward and really developing the plans for that, seeing the big picture of that and coming forward in a very truthful and honest and deliberate way of connecting in what bring to what brings that of connecting into what will bring you to your new, um, your new passionate endeavor that you're, that you're heading out on. Um, we do have the King of Swords here. This is Aquarius energy, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini energy, and the Knight of Swords is Gemini energy. So we have two Geminis here, um, two Gemini energies here. A lot of intel there's there's a lot of intellectual thought going on here. A lot of a lot of rational thinking, logical thinking, strategizing, contemplating. So you're not only in a, an emotional place, but you're in a place of intellectual clarity which is a really powerful, it's a really powerful way to find solutions and to um, take steps towards new, beautiful realities for yourself. Let's look at the Fool energy. Why is a Fool card here? Why is a Fool card here? We have 
three of cups and the king of pentacles so this could be an opportunity offered by a king of pentacles king of pentacles is usually a ceo a businessman someone who has worked really hard to create some kind of an empire small or large um, but this is about celebration. This is about bringing happiness in. Uh, this this will put you in a place of the King of Pentacles. Remember, this is a masculine energy. So this is about creating stability and security for you in your everyday life. All right. It's also about happiness and fulfillment and celebration. So it's it's fulfilling two qualities, two conditions that you really are searching for improvement in joy, celebration, happiness, bonding with people, and then King of Pentacles energy, which is finding stability for yourself, creating some kind of financial freedom for yourself. Um, creating more luxurious kind of qualities um, around you within your everyday life, whether that's, um, fixing up your kitchen or or making some improvement to your home whatever this is and um, this is going to allow you to take care of your home life and to take care of your heart life all at the same time all right so that's a beautiful energy and let's look at the six of rods here before we go before we end what's the six of rods energy nine of cups wish fulfillment nine of cups all connecting into um, really know what brings your what brings you happiness what brings you fulfillment and then really um, recognizing here that this could be an opportunity that could really um, fulfill um, a lot of dreams and, and desires that you have had for a long time this is definitely wish fulfillment and you are headed towards it in one capacity or another here you go from being very dissatisfied in life, being feeling discontented, to now realizing with this change that's coming in um, that this could really be um, a, a real a wish come true here. And then we have the King of Cups energy. Um, and we have the King of Cups down here too. So this is about creating a beautiful environment for yourself <clears throat> that will bring in um, empowerment. It will bring in financial security and financial freedom and it will bring in a sense of emotional fulfillment for you so it's it's a beautiful reading and even though there are signs here of anxiety signs here of 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 being in a situation that was uncomfortable we really see you in the process now in the next 10 days of moving out of that emotional space and moving into a space of passion of, of, um, of fearlessness and of um, understanding the potential of a new and exciting um, opportunity. Thank you all so much. And I hope you have a nice weekend. All right. Bye.